I am Zarai Alam Saigad, a professor at the University of Chicago, and I'm also a paleoanthropologist by training. Salam comes from a species called Australopithecus afarensis, which is a Lucy species. Mm. And the Lucy species, Australopithecus afarensis, is the direct ancestor of our genus Homo. Mm. So yes, she is placed right on the, on the line to become our ancestor, and she was our ancestor. Salam is this amazing fossil, uh, a fossil of an almost complete a uh, child that lived 3.3 million years ago and died at the age of three, which makes her the earliest child ever discovered in the history of paleoanthropology. So I'm very excited and looking forward to talk about her and share my passion with the public here. We don't know exactly how she died, but we have some circumstantial evidence which would suggest that, given the completeness of the skeleton, that she may have been uh, taken away by a flood uh, or maybe drowned or something that happened suddenly because we don't see any evidence of carnivore attacking her or a scavenger uh, eating her or something like that. So we think there was some sudden activity that uh, led to her, uh, that led to her death. Most of the fossils that you find come from grown-ups, adults, and that is because the bones are well formed. They're uh -huh. resistant. But the children, after they die, they will first be prime candidates for the predators and the scavengers, mm -hmm. and they will decay and disintegrate quickly. So finding a skeleton such as Salam is simply unheard of. And when you have a skeleton of a child as opposed to a grown-up, you learn so much about how the children 3.3 million years ago looked. And let's imagine that you have uh, someone coming from Mars and you are to hide all the children. They would report on saying that, oh, human beings are like this, but they would be reporting only half of the population of our species. And because there were no fossil children in the fossil record before Salam, what we were discussing in terms of human evolution was sort of half-baked, I would say. So Salam fills in that major gap. I was very excited, but because I was the only scientist on site when she was discovered, the happiness and excitement was followed by this deep sense of responsibility of making sure that she's safe. Because remember, we were working in some of the remotest parts of the world, and the first key thing to do was to go make sure and take her to the city and keep her safe. But I was very excited and yeah. very happy. <laughs>